In this video, Susan Shaw Femi leads me in a practice called Open Focus Technique, which is designed to essentially diffuse your attention and make your attention wider and wider and make you aware of space. And if you just follow along, there's no pressure to do every sort of instruction or anything that she gives me. Um, but if you follow along with me, uh, what will happen is that your brain waves will begin to slow from beta to alpha. And that brings with it a lot of physiological benefits because it's sympathetically dampening, so it dampens the sympathetic nervous system and also activates the parasympathetic nervous system just from changing the kind of attention you're paying and becoming aware of space. And if you want to know more about the science behind this and why it was discovered, then check out the full interview that I did with Susan. Um, and I'll leave a link to that at the end and in the description below. Um, so just follow along with me. Let me know your experience in the comments below. I really hope you enjoy this. I'm going to ask you to get in a comfortable position in a, a gently upright posture and um, close your eyes if you feel comfortable. And I want you to be as effortless as possible. Open focus is encouraging effortlessness, just, just like um, synchrony, alpha synchrony can only produce, be produced when we're not trying. So get what you get, don't struggle or reach for it. And I'm gonna start out with a very simple um, question about whether you can imagine feeling the presence of your thumbs. Can you know that your thumbs are there because you feel them? And you don't have to answer me. As I said in, in the interview, we have more cells in the sensory motor cortex devoted to feeling our thumbs and forefingers than we have for our whole back. So we start people out with feeling their fingers and the spaces in and around. So as you feel your thumbs, can you imagine that they're filled with space? And by imagining, you can make it up. With kids, I use the word pretend. I'm going to give you about 10 seconds. Can you now imagine feeling your four fingers filled and surrounded by space? Can you now imagine what it would be like to feel your thumbs and forefingers filled with space and the space between them. Can you imagine now feeling your middle fingers filled and surrounded by space and the space between them and your thumbs? Can you imagine feeling your ring fingers also filled and surrounded by space and the space between them and your thumbs? And your little fingers also filled and surrounded by space as well as the space between them and your thumbs. And can you imagine now feeling all your fingers filled with space as well as both hands? Can you imagine also feeling your hands and arms filled with space? And 
And as you continue to feel that, can you imagine your feet and toes filled with space? And your legs. And can you imagine as you feel your hands and arms, your feet and legs filled with space? Can you also imagine feeling your lower torso? everything from the waist down, filled with space. And your upper torso. Can you imagine feeling your shoulders and trapezius muscles also filled with space? And your neck filled with space. Can you imagine now feeling your face and your hair and your ears filled with space, space inside your eyes and between your eyes, space inside your nose and nasal passages, your mouth and tongue and teeth and gums, your ears, and ear canals and your scalp, your whole head filled with space. So that you're feeling your whole body now filled with space. Can you imagine as you feel your whole body filled with space, you can also imagine feeling the space on either side of your body to the walls on either side. And the space above and below you to the ceiling and the floor. and the space in front of you and behind you, the walls. And can you imagine as you feel your body filled and surrounded by space, can you also imagine that the space inside your body and outside your body is one continuous space? And that the more you immerse yourself in that feeling space, the more you become space. And this space can extend out as far as you can feel it without efforting, even beyond the room, into the world outside and into the universe if that's comfortable. 
If not, whatever space is inside and outside that you can feel comfortable. And because the space has always been there and you're allowing yourself to feel it, you can also use other senses. You can hear the silence, which is the same space, or feel the space that, that tastes and smells arise out of. Or imagine with eyes closed, seeing the space that fills the room as well as the objects. and thoughts existing in a kind of emptiness of mind. Even time has a kind of flow. So as you imagine becoming more aware of space, more feeling of space, becoming space, you may even notice some pain in your body or some sensation for me it's usually anxiety um, for you it might be your leg but imagine as you bathe in all this global space that even the area that we call the pain is a cloud of particles filled with space and the more you immerse yourself into that feeling without losing global space the more that sensation dissolves into the surround, like ink and water, feeling into experience and opening up around it is the antidote for all the stress we build up in our narrow focus days. So t taking these stress breaks can be enormously helpful. That was a quick exercise. It may have gone a little fast. We usually teach it slow, more slowly on the, on the uh, recorded exercises. How did that make you feel? Um, well, incredibly relaxed. I mean, I, I noticed immediately that my breath was slowing down. Mm -hmm. And um, there was a point where you said, notice the space above you and the space below you. And it was almost like a boom, like a state shift in my brain where things almost just spread out yeah that it was I think you used the word like mist did you say or something where particles uh, something like uh, that particles yeah where it's like that's how I felt very yeah. um almost like there's a freedom to my to my experience like a, yeah. a, a flow of um yeah kind of just a sense of ease yeah and then there's also a point where you said like the space inside and outside of you and, and there's just almost a disintegration of my sense of self really in a nice way um yeah really interesting experience so thank you susan oh thank you for having me it was nice to meet you awesome so I really hope you enjoyed that practice. Let me know what you thought in the comments. If you want to know more about the science behind what we just did and what's actually happening in the brain, then check out uh, the full interview that I did with Susan about how uh, her husband, Dr. Les Fermi, discovered this technique and refined the kind of instructions that they were giving people. It's a really interesting story, so I definitely recommend you check that video out. Um, if you're interested in biofeedback, you'll also be interested in my videos with Stephen Elliott, the original creator of the Coherent Breathing Technique, and with Drs. Gerbarg and Brown, who use both Stephen Elliott's work and the Famey's work in their uh, BBM technique. So yeah, loads of videos on this channel. Check it out. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you give it a like and consider subscribing um, to the channel. I've got some really cool interviews coming up. I've got a whole series of experts in Yoga Nidra. Um, and I'll also be interviewing uh, Paul Hughes, a breathwork legend from Vivation. So yeah, really cool stuff coming up. Make sure to subscribe. And while you're here, um, consider checking out my book, Draw Breath, The Art of Breathing, uh, which is getting some really amazing views, uh, reviews on Amazon. Um, yeah, check that one out. It teaches you to meditate by drawing really simple 
um, guided drawings, drawing up as you inhale on pink lines and down as you exhale on blue lines. And it teaches you to meditate, but it's also just super relaxing. All right, thanks for stopping by and I hope to see you soon.